Today, I'm going to introduce you to Alteryx Machine Learning, which is a cloud-based machine learning app, part of the Alteryx Cloud platform. What you're looking at here is a report um, that highlights in red every payment that is likely to be late. This type of report is the result of a machine learning model, which uses historical data to make predictions like this. So let's take a look at how you can build this kind of model using Alteryx machine learning, even if you're not a data scientist. This is the landing page of Alteryx machine learning. It's browser-based, so you just navigate to the site. If you want to create a new model from scratch, you click on this new button in the upper right-hand corner. Or if you want to reference or access models that you've already created, here's a list right here. I'm going to click on the AR days late. To get data into Alteryx machine learning, there's a couple different ways to do it from file storage from your computer or from Alteryx Designer using the Alteryx Machine Learning Send tool, which is part of the Alteryx Machine Learning um, palette. Once your data is in, then you want to take a look at the data health. So data health looks at three different aspects of your data, null values in terms of columns and rows, distributions by every column, and outliers by every column. Once it does this assessment, it gives you a letter grade over here on the left and tells you whether or not you should go forward with machine learning. In this case, a B minus is good enough. You'll navigate through the next step-by-step -step process through which you build the model. Let's take a look at the model setup. You set up your target. That's the thing that you're trying to predict. In this case, it is a late category. In my historical data, I have records that are either not late or late. Once I set up my target, it will automatically determine the right method for machine learning. In this case, classification is correct. It's trying to predict a category. You could do regression to predict a number or time series regression to predict a number over time. The auto modeling piece of Alteryx machine learning is all about creating many different models and helping you figure out which one is the best one for your data. In this case, it tells us that the elastic net is the best model based on the data and it uses the ranking metric log loss by default. If you change this, which you can do to something like, let's say, area under the curve, You'll notice that the model has changed. The best model for this metric with your data is the random forest, but it's also very similar to the elastic net, very similar in terms of the score. If you're not quite sure what the area under the curve is or the log loss or any of these other metrics that you have in this list, you can turn on the education mode, which is an extensive write-up meant for upskilling folks who are not data scientists who want to understand better all the things that they're seeing through Alteryx machine learning. So for example, the ranking metric, I can open up that section, I can navigate down to the binary classification metric section, and I can read all about area under the curve, log loss, and all the rest of these metrics at my leisure. You can turn on or off education mode as you see fit. It really depends on how much upskilling you need when you're building out your machine learning model. You would then go to the evaluate section. It shows you here that the elastic net does a number of different things under the hood. If I change this back to the random forest, it shows you that there's different things being done under the hood. So for example, one hot encoding, it knows to do that to your class, to your categorical fields. This is something that a data scientist would do manually. You don't have to worry about it because it's going to do that for you automatically. It's the right thing to do and it will do it for you. The performance shows you the confusion matrix, basically your true positives, your true negatives. The insights shows you your model. So the model itself is a combination of all these different fields um, together to make those predictions in, in, in order of importance. So the prior late counter is the most important feature followed by disputed, et cetera. Prior late counter is the number of times the customer has been late in their payments prior to the current payment. So you can imagine, yep, that's a pretty good predictor, not surprising. The partial dependence shows you the values of the feature that help you figure out when the likelihood of something changing occurs. So for example, the prior late counter value down here along the X axis, once it hits about four or five, it's much more likely to be late. A zero value is likely to not be late. And every one of these fields has a partial dependence to show you this kind of an insight. 
The simulation section shows you an, an ability to do what if analysis. So what it does first and foremost, it takes the first record of your data and shows you that prediction right here. The first record is 84% likely not to be late. And the values of that first record are down here in this little section. You can make changes, little tweaks, to see how they, those little tweaks would adjust the predicted value. What I've done here is gone from a zero to a 17, and that new prediction is about a 53% likelihood to be late. So making that one little tweak has changed my not late to a late. The last thing you would do is you can export the model itself as a tool in Alteryx Designer and then build the report I showed you at the beginning of this um, of this video. You can also just download or sorry, you can also import your scoring file right here within Alteryx Machine Learning and score your new records right here. So if you look over here on the right hand side, we have three columns that are new. These are predicted. So the late category here is a predicted late category. And these are the probabilities that go along with these predictions. So the third row, the fourth row, the sixth row, et cetera, are going to be the late payments. Um, you can download that CSV and then use it again over in Alteryx Machine Learning. I'm sorry, Alteryx Designer if you want to. The last thing I'll leave you with is the community article that um, would be very beneficial to read about. It use, it's the same kind of analysis with a little more extensive uh, information about the different screens within Alteryx Machine Learning, and it does an accounts receivable late payment analysis using Alteryx data. So thank you, and I hope you all have a great day. Hmm.